Hey you buddies, welcome to Video Games Awesome Live! It's a special day because as you can see down here, we have bought a new PlayStation VR. Wow! So it's time to play some VR games. We actually put off playing Trover Saves the Universe because a game so sacred to us, we wanted to do it right. So we waited till we had the budget to get buy a new PlayStation VR. Mm -hmm. We've had to rebuy everything since we came out here. And uh, we're ready to play it properly. People say it's a good idea to play it on VR, even though you don't need to. Right. That it's better. That, do, you have like, the, do you need the motion controls for this? Or no, no, you just use a controller. Okay. No PS Move. And um, we'll probably, before we start playing some PlayStation games, some VR games, we'll get, I'm gonna need, they don't make it clear when you're in the store sitting down, standing up, sitting down. Oh, they don't really? mark that. They don't say like sitting sitting down oh. or not, whether games must be standing up or not. Cause for me, I want to sit. <laughs> and this game I think you can sit on. So I guess let's jack in into the oh. matrix. So here we go. I can do anything to you right now and you won't know until later. Yep. Well, unless I like use my, um, you know, uh, those things that sense touch. Ah, right. <laughs> my nerve endings. If yeah. you did anything to me that triggered those. But if those. I do anything like on the outside of your body. But without touching. Yeah. Okay. Well, if that's your fantasy. I won't do it. Here we go. We're back into VR again. Yeah. Let's go. What's Jopo mode? Jopo mode? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> On? <laughs> what? Jopo saves it. Let's go default for now. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know who Jopo is. I don't want to <laughs> take any risks here. Alright, uh, uh, gameplay. Do we have uh, audio? Subtitles should go on, on for your guys' please. sake. And uh, censor mode, but sure. Fuck off. Who's gonna censor my Royland? Yes. I'm about to get a sweet Royland fix. It's been oh a while. Oh my god. It might be painful. It's painful enough wearing a headset, but getting like How's Justin it? Royland laughs, that yeah. usually gives me a pain oh, right shit. in the back of the head. So we have the PSVR 2? This is the something? second the, the second version of the PSVR. We had the first version in Canada. Mm -hmm. And they've added these elastic bands that make it so fucking tight, it's like somebody's just crushing your skull. So I actually snipped the bands. Yeah. So hopefully we don't need to return this, because mm. I'll still return it. All right, let's go. Uh, a little schmoglet. A little, a little schmoglet. Schmologet. Schmologet of. Schmologet game contains naughty words that may not be suitable for ears that are attached to a child's head. <laughs> let's try. Right, don't tell your parents. <laughs> This looks like it was, uh, could have been made in dreams. Yeah. Hey, it's my little Cholos! Oh, it's his dogs! Oh, the Cholos! Are you taking these? <laughs> <laughs> you stupid piece of shit! <laughs> wow, this is fucking crazy! Wow, this is fucking crazy! <laughs> It's teaching you to reach Oh my god. Like rotating my chair. If you want this marriage to work, you'll rotate your chair, god damn it. Just use the right thumbstick to, and rotate your chair, Samantha. I know how to rotate, Reginald. I'm not an idiot. I know Reginald. all I have to do is move the right thumbstick to the right or left to rotate my chair. I still refuse. Well, you never interact with objects by looking at them and pressing R2. Like the things on the ground or the things on, on, on the desk, Reginald. Why won't you look at the things on your desk or on the ground and interact with them by pressing R2? <laughs> Just forget it, Samantha. We don't have time for this right now. The big staring contest is tonight. We need to practice if we expect to win. Yes, you're right. For once, Reginald. <laughs> yes, okay, staring contest. No one talks. First person to blink loses. Starting right now. Are we starting? Do you just, okay. One, two, three, two, one. Starting now. I already started. 
You have four messages. <laughs> That's the end of that show, I guess. Uh, I'm just gonna adjust this a little bit. Oh, this thing is so painful. Is it? I hate VR. Oh. It's so cool, but it's so painful, man. It just digs into the back of your fucking head. Did you want me to wear it for a while at some point in time? I'm gonna play we for a little We can share the bit. pain. Let's interact with some things. Yeah. I better answer this thing. Message one. <laughs> Your lawyer here, not looking good, I'm afraid. Because the dogs are yours and because they seem to be powering this monster, you may be liable. Call me. End of message. <laughs> message three. Hey, asswipe! Your rent is due! This isn't a charity! End of message. Message four. Hey, it's Mom. I never did like those dogs of yours. I'm not oh. surprised, to be honest. I mean, now they're powering that big old beef monster. Sweetie, it's a big mess. Anyways, call me back. End of message. I like that. Hey, phone. hey, open up! Come out here! Get out here! Get, open up! <laughs> My legs. <laughs> okay. Hello! Oh yeah, this is definitely the right place. You're the one. Okay, listen to me. We don't have time to get into it right now, but you're coming with me. <laughs> we interrupt this program for an important breaking news. A giant big monster, you heard that right, a motherfucking giant <laughs> big monster has destroyed the science center, damn near half the city, stolen science equipment, microscopes, beakers, I'm talking about flames. Things are really crazy right now. Shit's all fucked up, and this goddamn big monster has dogs that are plucked into his eyes, and they are powering him up above any power level I've ever seen. And he's scared people, my grandmother's afraid. All right, back to your regular sketch program. Man, you really, you, your dogs, you have no idea how fucked things are because of your two stupid dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Did that look cool? This is a power baby. You're gonna be seeing a lot of these throughout the whole power game. Baby. I mean, I really love them. I got them in my eyeballs, you know? In my <laughs> eye holes, I mean. So just here, look at this one that I just pulled out of my eye and, and it'll come to you. Just look at it and it'll come to you. you, you trust me, it's gonna, you're gonna love this. Just look at it and it'll fly right at you. It says hold our hey, hello, press R2, but uh, hey, pay he attention says, to oh, me I and look at this power baby. <laughs> There's nothing in here that's of any real importance right now except for what I'm trying to do with you here. Hello, read the paper. holy fucking Christ <laughs> on a cross. Come on, dude, take it. We don't have all day. It's a power baby. It's cute. I'm a Cheropian leg lover. Take it, dude. two disgusting, fluffy, white little dogs take has finally power, gotten baby. his comeuppance. When a giant beak seal me, monster gonna, gonna love this. stole his dogs and put Just them into his it, eye holes right at and you. disappeared, the stupid piece of shit dog owner has locked themselves <laughs> away in their apartment and has refused to commit Come comment on, dude, on this report article. It's a power baby. It's cute. <laughs> Take it, dude! Take the power, baby! This place is a dog's heaven. Yeah, trust here. me, it's gonna, you're gonna yeah, love this. it's pretty this. good, actually. It's so cute. Just like, look at it! Oh my god, there's a dog and a thong over there! <laughs> I like our, where we put our keys. Oh, so we look kind of like Come Mr. On, dude, Poopy Butthole. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a power, baby, it's cute! Alright, I'll take this power, baby. Take it, dude! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, listen, you're gonna control me, man. Cause I'm tired, a okay? I, you know Aww. how long it took me to find you? I'm exhausted. So you're in control. I, I'm like a remote control character Ooh. now, uh. right? The blue light that's shooting out of the ground, that's called the warp node. Give me over to the warp node. Alright, let's get out of here. Good God, you really got a thing for those dogs, huh? Didn't the PlayStation VR used to have like a... a One piece over top Yeah! Are you single or something? Maybe. Something's changed with the PSVR. It didn't used to be this painful. Really All the weight. Shit. I used to like talk about how you much better it was than the other VR. light is sort of shooting up from the ground. The, because I thought that the weight was nicely distributed, but now I feel it all right back in the back of my really? head. It's pretty terrible. You gotta get Aww. me out of this apartment, man! Come on! Was that the Oculus that had that? 
No, I used to talk about how the PSVR was so good at distributing the weight. There's a version 1 and a version 2, and if you go online, you can see people discussing the differences, but I never even knew. But I can, I feel like this is not as good as it used to be. Oh, that sucks. It never had the head strap at the top, so it You gotta get me out of this apartment, man! I don't know. Come on! Distributed. All right. All right, okay, so now listen. Press R2 to warp over. It's the right trigger. Oh! <laughs> All right, and that's how we do it. Let's go. Mm, so it looks uh, like you want to suck this place in before we leave, huh? I, I get it. <laughs> this is a good idea for playing. Like, I'm just this guy in a chair. Yeah. You know that monster that stole your dogs? His name is Glorcon. He's got your dogs plugged into his eyes like power babies. It, ma it made him unstoppable. <laughs> so, this this is your digs, huh? This is your hood? What's rent like around here? Do you rent or do you own? We rent. <laughs> power babies just sitting there. No. Jeez, what's with all the purple? Do you guys have strict homeowners association guidelines? Or, or are you a bunch of fucking idiots? <laughs> I'm purple. I like purple, obviously. <laughs> but seriously, come on, we gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah, so... You know, it took me forever to find you. Looked all over the place. Thank God, I'm gonna dump your ass off at my boss. I'm gonna get my space money. Then I'm gonna go to this place <laughs> on my home world where I get all crazy messed up called empty peepers. But what do you know about that? You're just a dirty chair orpian. I'm sorry for being spacist. So where should I go? Oh, over there. Oh, how is he gonna, what the fuck, where'd he go? There he is. All right, come on, there's a light on your controller. It's the jump button. Press it and I'll jump over the fence. When I go like this, can you see the controller? Yes. Okay. All right, you got it. Let's keep going. So I'm a dirty chair orpian. Mmm, yeah. Ooh, it's in the mailbox. Yeah, you can't really do anything yet when it comes to interacting with okay. things. So if there's no glowing light, I can't get to him, so... Boy, oh boy, look at this area. I don't see any, any warp nodes over here. I don't understand why the buildings had to be chair-shaped as well. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. The what is chair-shaped? The building is in, like, that bridge is chair-shaped. Because we're a chair orpian. Alright, look, it's oh, nice yes. to turn around your hood, but can we go now? Whoa! Oh, holy Whoa. shit! Woo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> Oh well, look who it is. I'm locking you here and making a citizen's arrest. Do you not think I don't know who you are, huh? Shake your head, yes or no. Answer me. No, well, you're wrong. I do know who you are. <laughs> you're the Cheropian with the dogs. Those dogs are in the eyes of that big monster and it is fucking everything up now because your dogs gave him some kind of superpowers. So we have you to blame for this bullshit that we're going through right now. Do you feel sorry for what you've done? Answer me, yes or no. Do you feel any remorse? Dude, just answer him so we can get this over with. Do you feel any remorse? Just answer the guy answer so me. we can get this over with. <laughs> we want to get this over with. Answer me yes or no. What are you doing? You're just sitting there like an idiot. Answer him. You're sitting there like a bunch of mashed potatoes. I don't even care anymore. I give up. I'm going to hold my breath. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Is he gonna do anything else? I don't think he you're cares. You're a heartless monster. <laughs> <laughs> you have the two dogs. Now you're hanging out with a purple walk person. It's purple unchair person. like, you know? It's against the chairman that still walk. Man, I don't have time for this bullshit. I got a motherfucking sword. You threat me, boy? I ain't for you. Come on, let's do it. Well, you should be, asshole. Let's beat this guy's ass. Press the square button. I'll turn on the nose. Ah, just stop hitting me. 
<laughs> hey, it's elderly uncle, abuse uncle. time. <laughs> you're, you're, you're an idiot. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay, we're really gonna do this, huh? We're gonna Ow. murder. We're gonna murder. Oh, oh, shit. I'm dead. Oh, shit. Uh, I think we just killed him. We better get out of here. I don't wanna get in trouble. All right. <laughs> That was pretty fucked up. We need to get our story straight. He came at me with a knife, okay? <laughs> Look at the power of baby in his eye. Just All like... right, whatever. Man, I can't believe you killed this guy. What, what, what do you want to hang out at the scene of the crime? Let's go. <laughs> Maybe you'll get better. Yeah. He's just not feeling well. We just killed a guy. Can we please go? <laughs> That's where we're going over there. No walking. That sign says. Yeah, because we're chair You are and... taking yeah. your sweet time, but like we're walking through a park. We just murdered. Can we move? Ooh. Now is not the time to stop and smell the roses. There's a dead corpse back there that we killed. We took a life. Can we please? We gotta move. It's hard to keep moving when I'm rewarded for not moving mm -hmm. with Roylandisms. Yeah. Like, could another one happen? We just took a life! Okay. It is not time to stop and smell the roses! Let's move! Let's hustle! I never know if it's gonna stop! I wish I knew how many numbers of... It looks... Or it sounded like you repeated the same thing. Dude, bit. please get out of here! We gotta move the fuck out of here! It's kind of different every it time, different. right? Like... I feel like maybe once he says a shorter one, that means he's just gonna be kind of playing. Seriously, there's a corpse back okay. there that we we took a spirit. There was a spirit. There was a soul that we just let free from its er, its body. <laughs> I don't want to leave if you're gonna keep on talking. What the? Oh. This is perfect for Royland because. Like, he can just talk forever, I'm sure. And so they let him, and then just space it out. Yeah, right? Whoop. Okay, he seems to have stopped now. I swear to God, if he talks again. <laughs> it keeps getting higher. As I turn. Yeah. What the hell? All the nodes are locked down again. Shit. We, we gotta look around and figure this out. Shit, this is the science building we saw on the news. Science. How are you gonna fight this baddie? Yeah, yeah, I got stuff too. Hey, what is all this stuff for? I don't know, but it's ours now. Hey, look, there's somebody we can beat up. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rub with that person. Hey, come here. We're gonna kick your ass. Who the hell are these guys? <laughs> I, I guess you got a rumble. I hope you can handle this. You're gonna wish you never ran into whoever we are. We don't know who we are. I don't know who I am. Yo, but I know that I'm ready to fight. You and I, we're like brothers. We're like really similar. Yeah, we are very similar to each other. We certainly are. Yeah. And I'll tell you one thing. I want to rumble. Yeah, me too. I want to rumble. It might be rumbling time. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. We're going down. Yeah, I'm gonna kick your ass. Kick the shit out of you. We got, of, we got rumbles. We want to rumble. I, yeah, I, I let ran out of light. Oh shit! <laughs> I wanted to see how much they were gonna say. This is really hard. Man, that was pretty fucked up. We need to get our story straight. He came at me with a knife. Okay. What the hell, man? What the hell? You, you you made me kill him! Whatever! Let's just get out of here before the chair police or whatever the fuck you chair people use as cops get here. Oh my god, it said different shit yeah, this time. Yeah, I did. Look at all the stuff I got. Yeah, yeah, I got stuff too. Hey, what is all this stuff for? I don't know, but it's ours now. Hey, look, there's yeah. somebody we can beat up. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna rumble with that person. Get here. We're gonna kick your ass. <laughs> Guys, uh, I guess you got a rumble. I hope you can handle this. We're gonna wish that we never ran into whoever we are, because we don't know who we are. I don't know who I am, but I know that I'm ready to fight. You and I, we're like brothers. We're like, we're like so similar. Yeah, we are very similar to each other. We certainly are. And I'll tell you one thing, I want to rumble. Yeah, me too, I want to rumble. It might be rumble in time. We're gonna kick the shit out of you. We're going down. Yeah, I'm gonna kick your, we're gonna kick the shit out of you. We got a bunch of, we got rumble, we want to rumble. Yeah, we want to kick some, uh -huh. we want to kick some ass. Yeah, we got an aggressive. Oh, power babies came out of their eyes. 
We're gonna oh, take the shit out of him. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, shit. There. We don't even know who we are, and you killed him. <laughs> we didn't even get time to figure out who we are, where we came from. No, you killed my friend. You killed my best friend. You just murdered him. He was my best friend of all time. You guys are fucking dead. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking murder you. You murdered my fucking friend. You murdered my friend. I'm gonna fucking kill you. I'm, 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 I'm really mad now. I'm really mad because you killed my friend. I'm, gonna, I'm tough now. Oh, I got adrenaline pumping in uh -oh. me. One heart left. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna fucking murder you. I'm gonna fucking murder you. You murdered my fucking friend. You oh, murdered nice. my friend. I I'm gonna fucking heart kill you. I'm, He's I'm, blind I'm, now. I'm really mad now. I'm really mad because you killed my friend. I'm gonna be. I'm tough now. <laughs> I'm tough now. Huh. Well, that's that. <laughs> this is gonna make this game quite challenging, having to sit through battles and not get hit. Back the other way. Inventor of cloning. What's your health at? Inventor now? of black holes. <laughs> Stephen Hawking. Uh. The inventor of clones. Huh. The inventor of science. More like the inventor of being a fucking piece of shit. No, I'm just joking. That's pretty cool to have invented science. Gross, he's got limp noodle legs. Hey. The inventor of sitting. What an invention. What did you guys do before him? Just stand the whole time? <laughs> Boy, I'm blown away. I would have never expected that Chorampian science is all about, is a lot of sitting involved. The inventor of black holes. Uh, I heard that guy was kind of a dick in real life. <laughs> I can't believe everyone here just sits here. Nobody ever stands. You know, it sounds kind of nice, actually. Apparently, Royland recorded twice as many hours of dialogue as the campaign required. <laughs> I could totally There was a campaign? That. I guess. That's a dangerous game, man. Playing God. Personally, I don't think anyone should have that kind of power. Not even God himself. Are you religious at all? Or do you just worship chairs? You people are insane with your chair thing. This whole this whole place is nuts. I don't get I you chair orpians. You're a bunch of weirdos. With, uh, your legs have atrophied. You know, because of all the sitting. Take you, you probably couldn't it. stand if you like wanted this. to. Wow. Yeah? It's just, um... Fuck. I would have remembered it being that painful. Something about this version. I would, I'm gonna look up more after this show of what's changed. Yeah. Yeah, I want to play it in VR. But, I don't know, try it on, Beck. Let's see what you think. Sorry, it's got... That's okay. Choto denku. Choto denku. <laughs> Whoa, you've got a huge head, yo. Yeah. Part How of do the you problem. do this again? Here. Yeah, there you go. And then there's this button up. Yeah. No, no. It's like right here. There. Oh, that's a button. That goes. And then that will like move this forward and back like this. Oh. And that's all. How do you loosen it? Um, you press the button directly in the back. Ooh. Well, it's hard to get a good balance, right? Eh? I, I swear the last one was better. I don't know what's changed. I'm just gonna look it up. I wanna see. Does Whoa. it feel painful to you? No, it doesn't. Feels like it could eventually be, um, if I wore it for, you know, a long time. Just looking it up here. Whoa, guys. How PS VR one, VR two beats P VR one and. Ah, the the biggest difference comes from having a newer television with 4K resolution. The new setup supports high dynamic range pass-through, which means the games will support their wider range of colors. The PSVR does not support high dynamic range, but it at least passes through, I guess. And 4K, you wouldn't be able to... Yeah, I guess. I don't know.
They look the exact same to me, except for this one has little headphone holders right here. The, like, it, the headphones can just push into this little thing in the side and they sit there. I'm just looking at images now. It looks the same though. And then they don't mention the elastic bands on this article that I'm he seeing here. So as painful as it is right now, it's less painful than when I got it out of the box. It had elastic fucking bands that were like crushing your fucking head unless you have a tiny little mouse skull. I have a tiny little mouse skull. <laughs> it also has buttons at the top of version two. All right. Huh, should I take it off? Um, can you see your body when I look like this? Can I? Yeah, I can. Weird. Oh, because I moved it. Like, so you can see the. That's interesting. Yeah, I didn't even think of taking it. Like, how all they show is the upper. Yeah. Yeah. They were never. This was never meant to happen. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I guess I'll keep playing here. Oh, I see. I'm gonna spend a little bit of more time outside of it and just see what it's like to play it like this. I guess maybe the screen is too low now. Is an average gamer, is the VR worth it? Uh, like, until VR headsets... It's yeah, you're, you're looking at the telepod right now. That's where we're going. Come on, get me over there. Um, it takes work to play. Yeah. I'm gonna put it back on because you have to look at things to interact with them, right? So you mm. have to kind of have it on if I'm gonna be in this mode, which I am. I'm very interested in playing something like Beat Saber with it. Yeah, you gotta Where take you just, like, breaks every like I would say 15 minutes probably. Yeah. <laughs> for this to be comfortable for me, I'm just trying not to do it up tight at all and just have it kind of rest. Mm-hmm. Do you have very much light leakage in the bottom? No, not too much. Because I do. I can see my hands a little bit. Your real life hands? Yeah. It wouldn't be as bad if, if it was a dark room. You wouldn't be able to tell. Right. You know, yeah, obviously. yeah. Yeah, you're, you're looking at the telepod right now. That's where we're going. Come on. Give me. Fucking finally, we're at the telepod. Yeah. <clears throat> you feel like it would be cool to bust out at parties, but it's such a it feels like a private experience, you know. I guess maybe it's not. Well, the VR, the PSVR, is amazing for how easy it made it to set up so that people can spectate what you're watching. Right. To get just to simply get what you're playing to appear on the screen on uh -huh. the PC is a fucking job. Like, I mm. did it. Mm. I don't know if it's gotten better since it's been released, like, you know, the Vive and stuff, but the Vive was fucking a pain to get them to see what we were seeing. Right, right. On some games. Some games were easy, some games were fucking hard. They just did not want to show anything on a second screen. Mm. Um, hey, can he jump? He can, right? Yep. Yeah. Cool. I bet he tastes like rough gushers. Yeah. This is the telepod. So telepods are, are, are how we get around, okay? <laughs> That's how we travel in the cosmos. They teleport us to where we'd like to go. So we're gonna use it to go to my boss's office so I can drop your ass off, your stupid ass off, and get my space money and get the hell out of here, you know what I mean? And go live my life. Go ahead and hit the button to uh, teleport us to my boss's office. Important cosmic jobs, power babies collected, zero of zero. All right, go ahead and hit the button. <clears throat> Go ahead and press the button. Doesn't look like I can. Oh, there's more. Cheropia. Cheropia. Oh, that's press where the we are. So we can get moving. Oh, you see that thing back there? That's Ooh. him in a bikini. <laughs> and a song. Cute. Press the button for the telepod to go somewhere. Maybe it's his his girlfriend. I 
And that's when I woke up and realized she was dead. Oh, Trover. <laughs> I'm sorry it took me so so long, but here's the chair orpian uh, in mint condition. So I'll take my space money and be on my way. Thank you very much. Actually, Trover, some things have changed since we've last talked. I'm going to need you to stay partners with the chair orpian. Your job's not over yet. Come on. You said all I had to do was find the stupid chair orpian and bring them to you, and then, then I get my space money. Trover, shut the fuck up. I have the abstainers on the hollow dish phone. <laughs> We are the abstainers. Holy shit, that's what the abstainers look like? They look just like the, the guy who's got the dogs in his eyes causing all this trouble. Shut the fuck up, Trover. No one needs to hear your commentary about everything. <laughs> the abstainers would like to talk with the chair Orpian. <clears throat> it is true that we look like Gorkon. He was one of us. We were four, but he has broken free. Chair Orpian, is it true you were the owner of the dogs that power Glorkon? Yeah, it's definitely the right Chair Orpian. You should have seen, seen their apartment. No, they say no. They say they're not the one. Trover, is this true? Did you just bring up some useless random Chair Orpian? No, no wait, listen. They're the Oh, I shook my head, I guess. Yeah. Don't fuck with the abstainers. You know, this is, a, this is a real honor right now. Yes, please, do not fuck with us. Tell us the truth. We await your answer, please. Are the dogs yours? Yet. Oh, maybe I have to. They're not the one? We need to meet this chair orpian face to face. You must come to our home world, our inner sanctum. Wow, whoa, you're in the inner sanctum void, wow. Nobody's ever been to the Epsteiner's inner <coughs> sanctum. Oh, mama. This is gonna be, that's gonna be quite a, a little deluxe travel package. How does somebody even get to the Epsteiner's inner sanctum? You must find the crystal of Ithacles. It is located in a place called Schlemy World. Oh, oh, I know where Schlemy World is. All right, okay. All right, Trover. Now, I'm sure you can see better as to why you, I needed you to stick around. We need you to protect this chair orpian. You and the chair orpian are a team. You're partners now. You're together. You're you, you're gonna need to go get that fucking crystal in from Shlimi World so that you can meet the abstainers face to face. I love Once the you words they the make up. Of Ithacles, you can plug it into the telepod. It will give you access to our inner sanctum. We must meet this Chair Orpian in person. It's of the utmost importance. Okay, all right, we got it. Jesus, Chair Orpian, uh, go ahead and hit the button on the telepod there uh, to teleport to Shlimi World. Yeah, Jesus Christ, man, fuck. This is bullshit. Trover, I don't want to hear any bullshit from you. Fuck you. Yeah, all right, okay. <laughs> you should have fucking let me know that this was a possibility. I don't like surprises. Trover, there are higher things at stake here than, than that right now. So quit being a little baby and do as I ask. I'm your boss. I'm the one who pays your bills. Man, we got a deal and you're changing it Chirpian, up. Chirpian, hit the button on the telepod. I don't want to hear Trover anymore. Okay, we're going to hang up now. Good, good luck. Yeah, we had a deal, man. You know, you uh, bring back the Chirpian. Get some space money. That was the deal. Trover, there's bigger things at stake now. I don't know what you were going to go do, but whatever it was, it was going to be supplied by my space money. Whatever recreational activities that you were so excited to go do that now you can't do that, that are making you so upset, that was going to be paid for by my space money. Just like everything in your, in your little shitty existence is funded by my space money. So I need you to shut the fuck up and do what the fuck I tell you to yeah, do. Yeah, okay, I'm I'm doing it. I but am I I I I just don't like surprises, you know. I know I'm work for hire, but just let me give me a heads up, you know. G tell me there's the chance that this could turn into a bigger job. Trover, I don't give a shit about what you just said. Shut the fuck up and just chair orpian. Will you hit the button on the <laughs> telepod? Get the fuck out of here. Go do the work. Find the fucking crystal of Ithacles and plug it into the stupid telepod so you could go meet face to face with the abstainers. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Shit's fucked up right now. Hit the button on the telepod to trap to, to to go to the Shlimi world. Press the button so we can get the hell out of here. Fuck you, boss. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> Jesus, man, Jesus, fucking, that guy's a fucking asshole. Man, I didn't, I didn't sign up for this shit, you know? And now the abstainers are involved? Fuck, man, the, the, the abstainers, man. Imagine every time you've jerked off, they, they've seen it. Every time you, 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 they watch, they know, they literally can describe to the minorest detail every time you've taken a shit. They know every single moment. They know everything, they've seen everything. I don't like them, I don't, I, I don't, I, I, they make me uncomfortable. The abstainers. Hey, press the telepod button so we can get out of here. He's got two little dots on his palms. Does he? Yeah. 
Oh, I can't see them from here. About Shalini World on, and press the his made up so words. Get out of here. Uh -huh. I'd say the hardest part is for him to keep track of which made up words he's already used as he comes up with new ones. Mm, yeah. Like when he just, he obviously just makes it up on the fucking spot. Yeah. And press the telepod what button those... so we can get out of here. What was that song on, on Rick and Morty? Your blor uh, I want your sweet blorpy blorbs. Or whatever oh, the yeah. song that ends that one episode. Come on, press the telepod button so we can get out of here. Oh yeah, we need to get you some hearts, man. I only have one. <laughs> what? What the hell is that? Fuck was that? <laughs> Look at me! Hey, I'm Mr. Pop-Up and I need your help! Alright, who, who is this guy? I told you I'm Mr. Pop-Up! I called a number! I, I don't know who I called! They're just supposed to come and help me! Alright, well it's not us! Now, now leave! Now fuck off! There's a man named Michael and he, and he built a house on the bluff and, and that's not zoned for residential usage! It's zoned for public use and I'm very upset about it! We don't know what the fuck you're talking about, dude! It's got nothing to do with us! We got our own shit to deal with, all right? You gotta help me out. I can't do anything. This guy, Michael, he's a total asshole. He's he's treated me like shit my whole life. Good. <laughs> now go away. Does he? Have no, it's bad. Yeah. Band-aid in his crotch. He's not shit and can yep. do whatever he wants. It's not fair. Sitting up there in his, in his red house. I would have built my house up there, but I didn't because I know how to follow the rules. You're disgusting. You're <laughs> naked. Go away. I know you guys will help me if I just keep at it. The squeaky wheel gets the grease. That's what my mom taught me as a baby. If I kept crying, she would eventually give me more nipple milk. I learned that at a very young age. If I'm really loud and abrasive and complain, I'll eventually get what I want. I'm gonna rip that little band-aid that's covering up whatever's under there and put it on your mouth. I'm sorry you don't like me. I, I really am, but I need your help, and, and you're the only people here. So if you just help me, then I'll go away. Otherwise, you're just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> I'm Mr. Fuck. Pop Up, and I got no one else to, to turn to. <laughs> Are you mentally handicapped? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Do you know what bothers me the most about Michael? His inability to listen. Do you hear yourself right now? Did I mention Michael masturbates in public? I saw it. He was alone in his room. Which is technically on oh God. public property, and guess what? That's also against the law. Why were you watching him masturbate? I wasn't. I, 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 I wasn't watching him masturbate. I was trying to admire the view, the view on the bluff. But his house was in the way, so I didn't. I didn't. I didn't leave because I shouldn't have to. That bluff is for the community, not for Michael's private time moments. It's unfair, and someone needs to stop it. This guy's a peeping tom. I am an upstanding citizen. Michael is the criminal here. A man like that can't be trusted! A man with no honor is worse than dead. Michael needs to be taken care of and not and not in a nice, helpful way. He needs to learn that there are repercussions! There are consequences! If you break the law, you should be punished! He needs to be punished! This fucking boy! All the zoning laws are very clear, you know? Like, have you ever played The Sims? There's a, there's residential, there's commercial, and and um, there's industrial, and and that bluff is not zoned for either of those. God, I wish I had a gun instead of a sword. Zoning laws are there for a reason, and Michael, go! Oh, ah, I'm floating up here now. You can't hit me up. Here. <laughs> Zoning laws are there for a reason, and Michael is oh on, my he's God. on that bluff for no reason. He thinks he's the king of Schleimy Shle World, but Schleimy oh. World has no king. It's a democracy with. Cheeks and checks and balances and zoning laws that there's they're there for a reason, unlike Michael! God, is this some sort of purgatory? Did you can crash and die and not realize it yet? There is no reason for Michael to be on the bluff, but there is reason for the zoning laws. He thinks he's royalty, but there's no royalty in, in Schleeny World. It's run by a covered body with fuck asshole! <laughs> run by a governed body with checks and balances and zoning laws. Unlike Michael, they're there for a reason. You're just repeating yourself. <laughs> no. What I said oh my God. was, zoning laws are there for a reason. And Michael is on that bluff 
for no reason. What Who's I said feet? after that was he thinks he's the king of Schleamy World. But Schleamy World has no king. It's oh. a democracy with checks and balances hey. and zoning laws. They are there for a reason. Unlike Michael. You know, this feels a lot like that Danny Rubin film Groundhog Day. You ever seen that movie? Yeah, I didn't get I'm it. I'm not talking to you. I don't know what else I don't understand. Michael thinks he can live on that bluff. It's not zoned for <laughs> Oh my god. Why build your house there? I know yeah, that's he didn't do it there. by accident, so why? Just to be a dick? Oh my god, dude, I think my ears are bleeding. You know, it's what just happened? I collected a power baby, I think. It's, it's unfair that we live in a world where the middle some people button. have to follow the rules and others are allowed to allowed to break them. Hey, partner, are you still listening to this? Zoning laws are there for oh, it's not there. And Weird. Michael is on, is on that bluff for no reason. He thinks he's the king of Schley, Schleamy World. But Schleamy World has no king. All right. It's a democracy <laughs> with cheeks and checks and balances and zoning <laughs> laws. There, there's, they're there for a reason, unlike Michael. It's not actually... Uh, is this some sort of purgatory? Literally. Did crash and die and not realize it yet? There is no reason for Michael to be on the bluff. Sometimes there it's is slightly different. For the yeah. zoning laws. He thinks he's royalty, but there's no royalty in, in Schleamy World. It's run this by is a why body you don't make your kids beg for nipple laws. milk. Unlike yeah, Michael, man. They're this there is for what you a get. Reason. You're just repeating yourself. No. What I said earlier was zoning laws are there for a reason. And. <coughs> hold, on, hold on. I'm choking on something here. I'll be right back. Jesus, I hope whatever he's choking on kills him. <laughs> Alright, you got it. Let's keep oh, going. Oh, power baby. You see him? Oh. Power heart, heart baby? <laughs> oh shit! Oh, oh, oh dead. <laughs> shit, there's a bunch of little gremlins over there. They just killed me! <laughs> you see the hearts on, on, on your controller? When those go down to zero, I die. And if you find any red power babies, those things will give me health. The more important thing is we focus on finding the crystal of Ithacles. Oh, looking for the crystal of Ithacles, huh? Well, I have the crystal of Ithacles right here. I'm the one who has the crystal. <laughs> big <laughs> surprise, big reveal. Oh, shit, how, how did you get that? <laughs> the abstainers gave it to me like 50 years ago to hold on to. You guys want it? You guys need this? Of all the people that have it, yes. We need it, please. Okay, well now you have to do what I say. Get that guy Michael off the bluff. Here, I'll, I'll help you out. You're gonna need a chair upgrade because you can't even see over this log. So I'm gonna give you a chair upgrade. Here it comes, your chair upgrade. Hey, what the hell, you lunatic? You just spit all over the chair upgrade. No, 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 I, I just gave him a chair upgrade. It's it's how we do things around here. I, we spit, pop up with me. It's your new magical chair upgrade. <laughs> Pop up, pop, pop down. Up. Yeah, pop up. Okay, good. Now do it again. You can pop up even higher. Pop up higher. Try it out. You can see so much up here. Pop up. Okay, good. Do you see the house? Use your blinky blinksters and look at it. It's way <laughs> back there. You have to see it. Don't you see it? It's the house with smoke coming out of the chimney. Jesus, have you have you never <laughs> seen a house before? It's 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 right there. I can't it's actually right see it. There. No, me neither. Turn your damn head and look at the house. Fine. Oh, if you don't oh want up to there. Look at the house right there. Then fuck it. Forget about it. So he's out of here. <laughs> Oh, I guess I can... Oh, so it was these little pieces of shit that killed me. Now with your pop-up ability, you can, you, we can see this stuff and avoid it. What you get? What you get for hurting me? So can you get that thing on that plant? Yeah, right? Um, yeah, these Where? look like... Green! Oh, you 
just got another nice. green power, baby. Dude, you are making my day. There's another one on the left. The, so they each have names. Norpfin. This peculiar little power baby can eat up to three times his body weight. Nice. And there's nothing wrong with that. Is that a problem for you? You have a problem with that? Get a, go get a job. <laughs> bean Beanie. Bean. This unusual power baby's brain is also its heart, known as a brart. We're looking into some sort of crowdfunding thing to help it out, so maybe get a job so you can pitch in. <laughs> Does the height change make you feel sick? No. At all? Okay. I wonder how I can get up to that one. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have to get him, like, get Trover to get up there, I think. Yeah. So this game, we were talking about before the show, whether, like, VR games are standing up or sitting down. This one, like, you actually have to sit down, otherwise it doesn't make sense. Mm, right. You're a chair orpia. Yeah. I wonder how I could get up there. If I could like, doesn't feel like I can get on that. Can I get on like one thing and then, like look at how these go up. Mm-hmm. Oh. I think that's too high. You think? Shit, any other ways? Maybe you have to fall down have from to get above up there. somehow. Oh yeah, collect that little bugger. Alright, nice. that's what I'm talking about, man. Thank you. This one's called Glinch Tur Turinsky. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> this particular power baby is colorblind and relies on scent and sound in order to act spacist towards other power babies. <laughs> Did we mention that they're all super spacist? Do you even know what that means? Didn't think so. Get a job. <laughs> uh, so, he, they're in order, I think. So there's one between him and the final one. Mm -hmm. This power baby is out there somewhere. He, she, they will be cold, scared, and hoping they're found <laughs> oh my soon. God. Find this power baby and make the world a better Did place. Did you get the second one in the log? I can't remember. There was a second one in the logs? Yeah, on the left hand side. Hmm. Like the next one is supposed to be found before the third one, if they're in order. And I think it's that one up there. Because the one I found, just found over here, was number two. Yeah, go back to the other side of the log. I don't think it's um, actually in there. I think that was an optical illusion. Yeah, that's just a flower over through there. Oh, you're right. Shit. Hmm. There's got to be a way up there. And if the power babies are in order of when you can get them, then I think it has to be from over here. Hey, there's some... See that? No. Oh, it's just a part of the ship. I thought that was, this glow was something. Maybe. Let's see. Go up, maybe? Go up where? Like, l raise your body. See if you can see anything different. I mean, if I get up there, if you can go up there on that cliff, I'd be able to drop down. Mm -hmm. Any tips in the chat? Do they know? I don't know. I think some people in there have played it. Holy nice. shit. here to the abstainers area and now we gotta deal with all this bullshit you know we're, we're in neck deep now man this is a bunch of nonsense why can't anything just be easy you know
Oh. All right, green power, baby. Mama's gonna get stoned. <laughs> this one. Ooh. Finky. This promiscuous power baby will mate with over 300 power babies in its lifetime. So don't waste a nice steak dinner on them or anything because they're not gonna call you back. Oh. Oh, Finky. Hey man, God. I gotta say, it's like pop-up guy's not harassing us anymore, you know? Been a lot of characters harassing us so far. My boss giving me a bunch of heat. The abstainers are probably gonna, I mean, they were mean on the holodeck. I'm sure they're gonna be mean in real life too. <laughs> Getting the right act from people. I just wanna be treated like a normal character, you know? I want that power baby. Hmm. I mean, could it be that one that we're trying to get right yes. now? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. it. That's what I want. I'm sure of it. That's the one. I just do not know how to get it. There's got to be a method over there, because there's, there's got to be a reason why they ordered them like that. Mm -hmm. Like in the collection. Man, there's one background sound there that is so rural Ontario. They're like a sound. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I hear it. Do you think maybe from in somehow inside the ship we go up? Like No, I don't think so. Hmm. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Put them all in. All right, you know, classic D student. You know, if you collect all the power babies in the whole game, there's a super awesome unlockable thing that you get. I'll bet, man. That's why I must get this power baby. Can you guys look it up online? Power baby number two. I think that's who he was. Three. three. Power baby three. He's between Bean Bean and Glinch Terinsky. Glinch Terinsky. Help me. Help. Please, please help. What is that from? Fifth element. Ah. Holy cow. I don't know. I also don't know what progress is. Oh, I know where we're going, but I just really, really believe that we're not supposed to progress. Are you looking it up? Yeah. Nobody else wanted to help? Uh... Uh, what are they called? Uh, power babies. Green power, power babies. Power baby. Guide. Green. You guys once, are mean to Once Becky. you get the double jump, come back and jump up the tree. Really? Okay, thank you. That's all I needed so to know. We so don't, we don't have the double jump yet? So I guess they put them in order of, uh location on the map, not necessarily when you're expected to collect them. Mm. Okay, thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank you for stop being mean to Becky <laughs> and making her look stuff up. Oh, crap. Well, this is as far as we go. Got ourselves a real gate here, keeping us from getting any further. We should check the area for any buttons or switches or anything. Hit all the buttons. Oh yeah. shit, look, look above the gate. One, one of these things got a thumbs up on it. Before they were all three, like red. You, you, you solved one of the puzzles when you hit the button. Try, try popping up, you know, Ch check it out up there. I need to wait for him to get impatient. <laughs> this is the hard part, is not knowing when he's gonna say extra things. Yeah. 
Man, it's pretty game though. Oh yeah, I, I see, I see what you're looking at up there. Three buttons. Ooh, that's a lot harder than one button. Jeez, that's three buttons. I don't know. That's rough. That's pretty hard. I don't know how you're gonna be able to figure that one out. <laughs> Holy shit! We got two green <laughs> thumbs up. One more puzzle somewhere. Jolly right, shit, they wrote. Higher. I bet there's another puzzle up there. These these ridiculous buttons or something. Probably more puzzles, you know? It's a puzzle extravaganza. What is it like doing subtitles for Justin Ryland? Oh my god. Jolly shit. Whoa! Well, holy shit, dude. I mean, I can see that puzzle from down here. That that's insane. That's an insane puzzle. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> you, you doing all right? Jesus, I don't know. Sh should we check online? <laughs> Maybe there's a strategy guide online. The hell were they thinking? <laughs> what the hell were these? Were the developers thinking with all these buttons? That's not fun. This isn't fun. This isn't a good game. Oh my Just god! A bunch of buttons. It's lazy. <laughs> Fuck this, dude. Come down. C come back down. C f screw this shit. <laughs> Screw this shit, man. Just calm down. We're not messing around with this. We're not messing around with buttons. No way. Uh-uh. I'm fed up. I waited around at this gate too for far too long. Let's just bash it down. Ba bash the gate down. Fuck that puzzle, man. Let's brute force our way ahead. We gotta just brute force our way through it. Bash the puzzle. I mean, bash the, uh, the, the door. Ba bash the gate. Let's just bash through the gate. We gotta just break through it. Fuck it. I'm not sitting around with that puzzle. I don't care. Just, uh, I'll take all the damage and, and you know, and whatever. I, I don't even care. Let's just break oh through God. the door. Let's break through the puzzle. Come on. Oh, it does let's, a whole let's line. Let's do the puzzle. Let's, let's emerge on the other side. But then it did let's some Let's break down through there. this wall. Let's break down the wall. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Let's break through the door. Let's yeah, I have no idea what we this actual puzzle is. We just gotta bash the gate down, man. Just, Are you just, figuring it out or no? Let's knock this shit down. I, I'm not fucking around with these puzzles no more. Oh. What the fuck kind of shit is this with these puzzles? We gotta break through the game. Dude, come down. C come back down. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck that puzzle up there. We're, we're breaking the door down. We're breaking it down. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck that puzzle up there. Let's just... We're breaking the door down! We're breaking it down! Yeah, screw that gate! <laughs> oh my god. Is it solvable, that? Probably. It looked like I was on my way. It's like a Rubik's Cube type of thing, right? Oh, there's a Ooh. green power baby. Nice. Uh -oh. It's not solvable. Seriously? Yeah. It can't be solved? Retro Chris looked it up. Wow. That's insane. Oh, hey. look at it. Man, once this adventure's over, I'm gonna be wasted for a while. <laughs> uh, this one, this power baby subspecies is the short-eared Schlorbet, making them cousins. It also makes what they did at last year's Christmas party <laughs> even more disgusting. Frebby. Aww. So now the babies are coming in really out of order, the guide. Yeah. Oh yeah, green power baby, you done did it. Tilma Dickle. <laughs> this guy's face. When this power baby gives birth, it will immediately abandon her offspring so that she can fulfill her dream of mass producing untuckable pleated pants. <laughs> <laughs> she can get a see she can get a job why can't you I'm like terrified of missing power babies hmm behind the there's yeah one in the yeah I don't know if I can water. oh there we go <laughs> Freshwater, boy oh boy, it sure is important to hydrate. <laughs> when this power baby is first born, it will attempt to eat its mother. Hmm. Duke. 
That is the creepiest <laughs> face. Yeah. Oh my god. It'll attempt to eat its mother, but not its father, because he's probably off playing with his shitty cover band, Friendly Fathers in Fedoras. Get a job. Hey, holy shit, there's, a, there's one! A green power baby! The green ones are super important to me! Blech. Skanker. <laughs> this particular type of power baby can change colors, allowing it to blend into its surroundings. Laws are being passed to prevent this because some are mistakenly perceived as racist. <laughs> uh, huh. Oops. Man. Where are you jumping to? To this log. Yeah. Oh, on top of it? I guess it? I can just get uh -huh. on it. Yeah. Do I have depth perception? It's hard to know. Do I have it? You don't know until you have to like dodge something I coming don't know. at you. Have any of you guys done that baseball thing where the baseball is coming at you? At the, oh, it's a video on. You get this baseball something? guy and he can't hit the ball. And then it, and then you get scared. Yeah, it's true. That's, That's what happens. my review of the Twitter video. <laughs> hey, I found him. Nice. <laughs> Bilka Wiener. <laughs> this power baby can travel vast distances for long periods without a single drop of water. Yet, they can't be bothered to get a job and pitch in around here. <laughs> mm. I flinch at those videos where the ball hits the camera, yeah. So, so good! One right before that guy. I guess yeah. that was it, right? Because I saw I him before so, yeah. I came across. Is he gone? Yeah, yeah I'd seen gone. him there, right? Yeah. Well, I think I broke that one uh, that I also seen before. But yeah, there's supposed to be one right before him that I'm wondering where he is. Because mm. one thing we have determined is they're in the order of where they appear when you in should encounter them so far. Even if it's not when you should collect them. So like, I would have at least liked to, to see him. Where do you think he was? That was the one I bashed over there. And that was, uh, I think, Bilka Wiener I bashed. Okay. Meaning so yeah, it should be right... Somewhere before this encounter. Here. We're gonna need your guys' help. I don't want to miss any. I'll be coming back here because of the double jump one. So maybe you guys can, like, find the guide. I've been able to make the headset a little bit more comfortable by making most of the resting happen on my forehead and my nose and like front loading it. I've tilted it down a bit. Oh, okay. Which isn't really how it's supposed to be worn because like this is coming not in contact with my head barely at all. Mm. But it makes it a bit more comfortable for me. So what are these wires on this side? Headphones. You can go like this. Oh. Whoa, that's so great. And it's really great because the audio changes left and right as you change your head direction. Oh, so that's amazing. You get stereo sound. I hope the kitties don't eat that and ruin it. They will. Yeah. 
Hey, excuse me. How's it going? My name's Tony. I'm Upgrade Tony. I got a real issue over here. If you guys wouldn't mind just uh, checking in with me. I got a real issue right now. Hey, yeah, what's the problem? I got these little ankle biters over here. They're trying to kill me. That's giving me anxiety. Okay, well, what do you want us to do? <laughs> I want you to kill them. If you kill them, I'll give you this awesome Power Baby <clears throat> upgrade that gives you a double jump and a glide. You can glide around with a double jump. Okay. It's so much fun. It's the funnest thing you've ever seen. Oh, man, I I've always wanted a double jump glide Power Baby upgrade. Yeah, I bet you do. If you kill these ankle biters and leave me amidst all this stress and anxiety I've got and panic attack, then I'll give you this power baby upgrade. The upgrade power babies are the most powerful ones. I, my favorite kind of power baby. We gotta take care of this. Yeah, why don't you take care of this stuff? Quit being a fucking stupid little bitch about it. Is that the sixth power baby we're looking for? Which? That uh, he has? You know, the one that- What are you doing? Those were my pets. What are you, what are you out of your fucking mind? Kill them! What are you talking about? I told you to kill the ones in the courtyard! The wild feral ones! The ones you just killed are my domesticated pets! They're my friends! Oh, Jesus, man, you gotta be a little more specific! <laughs> Shit! Oh my god! Sorry. I don't even care anymore. Take your fucking upgrade here! It's oh my god! Counter. I don't even know why I'm giving it to you, but here, here it is. Take your stupid upgrade. <laughs> okay, check this out. Watch this. This is crazy. Fucking eat each other! You see this shit? He's eating the other ones. Fucking insane. That's what they do when you put them close together. Isn't that crazy? And all the powers are now in the, in, in combined into this one power baby. And here we go. We're ready to double jump, baby. We got the double jump now. You fucking murderous, evil bastard monsters that killed my fucking best friends. I wanna. I gotta go. I gotta move on. I gotta pack up. This place has too many memories. I can't live here. I can't be here. I can't have my stand here no more. This place has too many memories. It just reminds me of my friends that you killed. You're the definition of monsters. Like that movie with the one actress who played the monster woman who killed men. I'm out of here. <laughs> Ruin that guy's day, but hey, I can double jump now and glide around. This is fun. Let's play with this new upgrade. Yahoo! Yippity D! <laughs> Alright, so that's probably where. Oh, there's a power baby in the distance. You see one? Yeah, above the ankle uh... biters. <laughs> can't hit him. I can't believe you did that. So, man. did some of you guys not do that to that guy? <laughs> A lot of them haven't played it. Pop up! Pop up so you can see better! So you guys are all like the guys in the, press the jump button, trailer. And then when I'm at my highest peak, press it again. And then There's hold it down and, you'll, and I'll collide. I'll jump higher and collide. Do you understand? Collide. This one is Terrell. When cornered, this power baby will use its anal glands to release uh. an offensive odor and then blame it on someone else. Mm. Mm. Wait, I saw a green dude on top of a massive tree. Where? If you look back again, but I don't know where. Green dude on top of a massive tree. Somebody in there thinks they saw that? Yeah. For the sixth one that you need, on a branch sticking out from a rock, it looks to be on a path near the large boulder. That's the one, two, three. The six. On a branch sticking out from a what? Sorry? On a branch sticking out from a rock. It looks okay. to be along a path with a large boulder. Thank you. Thank you so much for helping, guys. Yeah. You're really, you're really earning your keep here. Becky's always saying how you guys are useless, that you shouldn't be around, that you don't even belong on the show, that you wish you could get rid of you. But I'm always saying, no, they are gonna try and help us one day. I have never said that before. Don't believe him. He is being a liar. Becky! I always say that too, pretty true. <laughs> Oh yeah. How does that feel? Good to be able to do it finally. Yeah. 
There he comes. Good looking out, partner on the green power, baby. Sick. Maurice. <laughs> Jesus Ooh. Christ. I don't think he has pupils. He doesn't. This curious little power baby has no eyes, so it uses its tongue to see. So, so if he ends up licking every crevice of your body, just know that it's nothing personal, even though it definitely feels like it is. Oh. Also, maybe you should get a job. <laughs> Sticking out from a rock mm -hmm. on a path. When Metro Chris met us at PAX, I threw... I threw them into a river walk thingy, and then I also took their Pokemon wallet. <laughs> that's not, yeah. That's not very nice of me. What are you gonna do about it, bitch? I should not do those things. Oh, back there! Back there! Oh shit! How did I miss that? We checking out the bushes or what? What are we doing right now? Checking bushes out? We're checking out every little nook and cranny, huh? Yeah. How did I miss that? It's not sit sticking up from a branch. Maybe we got one that was sticking up from a branch. Maybe I already did, yeah. Oh man, this means a lot to me, dude. These green power babies are like my fucking, it's what keeps me pumping. Ian. <laughs> <laughs> this particular power baby will find a single companion and mate with them for life, even if they fight all the time, and I'm pretty sure they're cheating on each other. Seriously, get a divorce already and get a job. Too, just just for good measure yeah you did it you murdered my pets and the wild ones <laughs> but I don't get it. they look the same to me yeah well they are the same except for my pets were domesticated you murderer don't you even know how pets work yeah I, I know it's just you gotta be more specific okay you didn't even listen to me when you came up here you just ran past me and killed my pets whatever I'm gonna go I'm gonna go mourn the loss of my Little pets, they used to sleep with me. They used to sleep in my bed. There was Bobby, Fluffy, <laughs> Scampy. His eyes. Hi, Rice. <coughs> Hi, French. I think I felt Reds. Yeah? Is he getting in front of the PlayStation 9 and the controller? between these two? Uh, yes he did, for a moment. Because I think that's what makes the controller come up towards my face like that. Oh. Come here, buddy. You got some gunk in your eye, huh? Got a lot of gunk in your eye, oh my goodness. Oh, I see one up there. That's a good boy. Oh, hey, check it out, a secret little area. It's our little secret island here. Yeah. So, you know, power babies are, like, super important, man, because the red ones give me health, but, like, the green ones, I'm trying to save those because they're an endangered species, and if you <laughs> collect them, that'll really put some skin in the game for me, you know? It's like tipping an Uber driver. Plus, they get me really high when I have them in my <laughs> eye socket. Like, I get really high off of uh, power babies' energy. It's like uh, when shamans make you drink ayahuasca to reflect for 20 24 hours on the spirits that are haunting your body. You know, if you collect them all, I swear to God, I will make sure there's some fucking insane thing at the end of this game. Like, at the very final part of this game, I will make sure that there's some insane-ass gift for you, but only if we collect all the green power babies, all right? But if you don't, you know, fuck you. you that means you don't care about me. Oh my God. <laughs> Babies collecting them, this is what makes me devoted to you and your cause, you know? This type of power baby prides itself in being clean and will spend 30 to 50 percent of its waking hours grooming itself. Too bad the diarrhea flakes stuck to it aren't going anywhere. <laughs> Aww, he's like Elisa. His name is Stinton Jingle.
There's one. Yeah. Oh, this one has big pupils. Just done. Got another green power, baby. Cha-ching. Somebody give me a money dollar. <laughs> Oh my God! Look at this one, Becky. <laughs> Sir Dilbert oh. Stanton. This rare power baby is the very first power baby to ever exist, and it won't shut the fuck up about it. It's like we get it already. You're special, but why? What have you done lately? Oh, he does it up. We're glad. Mm. I think maybe it looks like that's oh, what killed not. that dude, or oh. that last ankle biter. Yeah, that's what it looked like. You might want to find another hobby, like maybe. Oh, you did it! I knew you could do it. I believed in you. There's one up in the... Good, two. fine. Oh Yours. shit, yeah! We just got a green power baby, man! Ingus Drat. Oh, wow. <laughs> when laying its eggs, this... <laughs> they lay eggs. This power <laughs> baby will look for a warm, dark, tight, smelly, dirty, hairy place. Mm. <laughs> That's mm. where it wants to lay its eggs. Gotcha. There's another one. I'll drink as much water nice. as you give me. That's all you can drink. It's Water Friday. Welcome to TGI Waters, where it's always refreshing. <laughs> Noreen Glendal. This power baby loves doing the dozen on your mom and dad. <laughs> doing the dozen? What the fuck? I have no idea. <laughs> I've never heard of the. Oh, there's, oh, there's another one. one there. Yeah. Whew. Yeah, you should probably you're go really over to the left and, and check out that area because there might be so, like a green power baby or two. And those Shit. are really important for me, man. It means a lot to me. You don't understand. Like, I need some skin in this game, too, you know? Redicker's on again. my lap. I cleaned his eyes. His name is Nick. Oh, Nick, Nick with three C's. This power baby's mating ritual consists of locking themselves in their room and watching reruns of Who Shot My Dad. around here. Uh, I got a feeling. Oh. Where is it? Hmm. Well, maybe... Get on, gotta get on top of the tree. Yeah. Ah, there's one. Baby, we just 
just saved it. You have no idea how much this means to me, man. Van Lappy. This particular power baby is well-known herbivore. Everyone knows this because she never <laughs> shuts the fuck up about it. Uh, Van Lappy. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. This game is five to seven hour, five to seven hours long, depending on, you know, if you 100 percent it or whatever. If you get all the power babies, is this only the power baby? This is only oh, for this the world. Oh, crystal. Yeah. You gotta get the power crystal. The power crystal. <laughs> so we can get back to Zordon. <laughs> That's vintage oh, Royland. Left. What? Is there. Oh shit. That tube, it looks like there's a lid on it. Right. Um, I think we were it? up there. Because that's over here. Oh. Hmm. Alright, I think I got. I think. I mean, there's some missing in between. Yeah. But, like, what? We got a whole team of people working on this, and I didn't see them. All right, should probably oh, take wait, a- wait, wait. Look to the one to the right. What? Yeah. Whoa, you just got another green power, baby. Dude, you are making my day. Schnoozy. This female power baby is responsible for providing food for her young and guarding the nest against predators while her male companion aimlessly searches for a job while watching daytime television. <laughs> there's another two here by oh. the trader. Holy shit. Oh, there's the one on the tree. Wow, they're hard to find. <laughs> yeah. I sense to Yeah. Mother Teresa over here? <laughs> what a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> this particular power baby, Herbert Hiccup. This particular power baby has extra large eyes that allow them to see at night making it easier for them to watch you sleep while they pepper their little spoogle. <laughs> pepper their spoogle. <laughs> There's another one? Yeah, another one by a branch. Also, another one at the branch. Which branch? Honey bud, or no friend? Yeah. There it is, there it is, down below. Look down. Holy shit. I wouldn't call that a branch, that's a log, man. Oh, oh that's... <laughs> you play a lot of platformers there, pro gamer? What? <laughs> 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 What I love, too, about Justin Roiland is that he's, like, our generation. Mm, yeah. Dr. Forplick. This wild power baby hunts in packs, and by wild, I mean civilized, and... This wild... Okay. I mean civilized, and by hunts, I mean grocery shops. <laughs> and by packs, I mean carpools. Just kidding. The first part is true. <laughs> God. Uh, Which first part? Yeah, he's of our generation, like our particular age. Yeah. And it, I feel like there's a connection there. I wonder how old he actually is. I think he's like <laughs> almost exactly our age. That's 30, my guess. 35, 36. Yeah, that's not how old I think he is. But it makes you really hope that the next, like, because we've been playing content for so long that's made by people older than us. And mm. it's not like it's bad content, it's just like there's a particular thing that clicks when it's somebody of your generation sometimes. Right. Uh, and you just have to hope that the next generation of content makers that comes after this when the people who are currently like, you know, 20 or whatever start. It seems like 35 is the age where people hit prevalence. Uh-huh. Like Royland comes into his own and stuff and like, uh, it feels like that happens a lot. 
Yeah. But anyways, I hope that the next H2O. up and comers are good. Hydrate to orgasm. H2O stands for happy to open my mouth. Yum, 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 yum. He was born in 80. 80? He's older than us. Yeah. So he's By three almost years. the exact same age as my sister. Mm. Which makes sense to me. All right, guys, gonna take a quick break here. I need some yeah, time out break, of this. Okay, buddy. Oh, wow. Yeah, feel bug eyed? Is it bright in here? Yes. Out here? That is wild. Oh. All right, guys. I have a kitty. I guess you won't be going anywhere on the break. No. Nope. Oh, you look so happy. All right, guys, we'll be back after this. Stay tuned for more. Hey guys, we're back. I'm gonna get rigged back in here. Okay. Oh, oh. Feels good? <laughs> that feels good. All right. All right, so look, there's these flowers that open when you look at them, and then, and then they bounce me up. They're bounce cool. flowers. So look at them, and then the petals will open. You have to stare at the flower, and then it, the petals open, so I can jump on it. <laughs> Partner, listen to me. <laughs> Team, use the fucking flower. I'm looking for power babies. So go back to your. Uh, Partner, seriously. Middle button. The flower and jump me on it. This button. Yeah. Okay. So we need number. Uh, we have five, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. We need nineteen. I guess before we proceed. 19 and then 23 onward. 19. 19, and a secret area to the right as you progress through the level. Hmm. We got that one. Pop up! Pop up so you can see better! Uh, fuck? Ah, we got you. You're fucked now. You, you're totally fucked. Who the hell are you? We're clones of Glorcon. You can't stop us. There's tons of us. There's a whole bunch of us and we're gonna kill you. We're gonna murder yeah. you. you. You're not gonna get through. You're gonna get very far with us around. There's so many of us. You you could kill a couple, but we're just gonna keep coming at you. Did you tell them about how they're not gonna get very far? No, I forgot. Shoot. All right, you're not gonna get very far. Hold on, I wanted to say it. Okay, hold on. All right, you go, you say it. You're not gonna get very far around here with us around. <laughs> All right, now let's attack. Attack, kill him, get him. Oh, you're fucked now. Are they fighting with bone swords? <laughs> yeah, enough of it, I'm over it. Well, this guy's crazy, stop him. <laughs> <laughs> His eyes are gone. Oh, no! Ronald! No, you cut my friend with a sword, oh! Oh, you fucking cherubian. Oh, what are you gonna do? Oh, what are you gonna do? Interfere with Glorcon's evil plan. Hey, Cherubian, oh, stupid dogs are dying right yeah, now. Yeah, stupid dogs are, are, are annoying and loud, and I, I wish we could just give them back. We can't give them back. Those are the dogs that are Glorcon. Yeah, I know they are. Guess who's the smartest person in, uh, in this part of the world? Me. Well, I'm smarter than you. No, I'm smarter. I'm the smartest. You're not smart at all. Man, fuck you. No, fuck you, motherfucker. I'm gonna fucking cut you. Cut you. Let's fight the, let's fight the purple guy instead. All right, that's smart. We're gonna kill you, purple character. Attack. 
This power baby can lift three times his body weight. This ability helps him compensate for his really, really, really small shingle shooter. Aww. <laughs> what was his name? Chaz Finkel Liner. Chaz. No, that's it. This is as far as I go. So he was way out of the order of sequence. Yeah. So weird doing this. <laughs> Yeah! Ah, fuck you! Yeah. Oh, you killed my- Fuck this fucking shit! Too easy, man! I'm at one heart, though. Oof. Power babies. Oh, I ah, see one. Ah, there's one. Sneaky power baby. <laughs> little son of a bitch. That little son of a bitch was hiding pretty good. You got Weird. it. Weird. <laughs> this power baby fucks. <laughs> this little Mr. Swinky. Oh, God. <clears throat> all right, so they're probably all down here. I don't know. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, we'll look around. Do you see Jeff Keighley tweeted about Death Stranding? No, I didn't. He basically says, I don't have the time, I haven't had the time to really play it because uh, of preparing for VGAs, but it's the greatest game of all time. <laughs> Did basically he say that? is what he said, basically, <laughs> to paraphrase. <laughs> He's like, but this is truly cha gonna change gaming or something like that. Oh it's my like, god. Oh, there's one way over there, but. Yeah, I, it's way over is there. Is that a different part of the level? Like, I think we're gonna get there eventually. Yeah. Oh. But we have a whole bunch that we're missing. Yeah, I know. There should be a little bit easier to find. There's tons. There might be another one over here. I don't know how I, how high I got while I was over here. Um. Next to the ledge. Another one behind a waterfall. Is it this waterfall? Well, I got one that was up in it. Yeah. Mm. I don't think it's this waterfall. Weird, he's not saying anything about getting a drink. Must have already gotten that one. One inside the pipe, behind the plant. There's one on a ledge. That ledge, I think. This ledge? Mm hmm. 
You don't get it. Lurkon is cloning us at a secret base and moving us in. There's, there's an infinite amount of us. You can't do nothing to stop us. Yeah, you tell him. I'm telling him. I've already told him. You're a couple of stupid, dumb idiots. You're idiots. You're never gonna freak your figure anything out. You guys are both dumb. Ugh, that's it, motherfucker. Oh, there's one. Upper right. <laughs> okay. Fuck you. Get him. I loved him. <laughs> you killed him. I'm gonna fuck you up, punk. Oh, oh shit. I'm gonna fuck you up, punk. Hey, what the fuck? Yeah. Oh, fuck you. New baddie type introduced. I'm surprised that it didn't come with a whole bunch of dialogue. Yeah. Oh, shit. You know, I kind of almost feel bad for these guys. Can you make it? I think you can. I'm over here. No, from there. Can't you double jump? Maybe. Oh, wow. Oh. oh, maybe not. Just a little too high. Oof, so close. Yikes, no cigar. No? Come on, give it to me. Oh, well, uh, I mean, there's bouncy yes. flowers. Yep. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> One of them spawned and then fell down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's the last one. This freeloading power baby will stay with its parents well past the age of maturity. Once they're forced to leave, they'll rely on their scavenger abilities to crash on your couch and eat your leftovers. <laughs> Fuck you up, punk! Oh, nice health. How does the combat feel? Decent. Yeah. And the platforming is great. Yeah. After playing like something like Dreams, it's nice to go back to like some 3D platforming that works. Mm. Actually, we didn't have to deal with too much 3D platforming in the last Dreams. I like um, how it telegraphs where you will be landing. Yeah. Oh! Hello, I'm Mr. Pop-Up! Oh, Did fuck. you forget me? Oh, Get shit. Get the fuck out of here, you almost got me killed! <laughs> Ooh, me? My bad. I just wanted to remind you to get ah. rid of Michael's house and I will give you the crystal of it, the please! What an asshole! <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh. oh. Nice. <laughs> Come to me, baby. Fucking green power babies. Why are they so hard to find? Good work. Sad Bill. <laughs> this adept power baby is small and weak, making its chance of finding a mate more difficult. Fortunately for him, masturbation holes can be found delivered in three to five business days. Three to five business days? I need to jack off now. Yeah, but that's why you like queue them up, kind of, so that you, uh, once one wears out, you got the next one already on its way. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. How'd you have that answer so fast? Because I spend a lot of time strategizing that timing. Oh, okay. So that power baby was like almost in the same spot as the other one, but the other one was 
the last one, and that yeah. one was like not the last one. Yeah. Okay, okay. How you guys doing? This is my house. This is where I live. It's in a properly zoned area. This is where residential <laughs> houses are allowed to be. And Michael's house, you're going to destroy it. Otherwise, you won't get this. The crystal of Ithacles. Anyways, good luck, you fucking shit fucks. Fuck you. I'm going inside. <laughs> Man, that guy's an asshole. You little shitty shit. Fuck, asshole. Oh. The whole building. Oh yeah, yeah, that one's good. Yeah, keep going with that. Yeah. There, the whole building reacts as him. Yeah, I like it. I like Weird. It. <laughs> you little shitty shit. Fuck asshole. That meant to, I don't Jesus, think that was maybe scripted. you should jump off a cliff. Like in real life. Just kidding, I love jumping off cliffs. <laughs> oh my god. Good work, these fucking green power babies, I swear to god. Betholomew, <laughs> Betholomew matter. Crickets, grubs, and beetles are part of this power baby's diet. Some may find it to be repulsive, while others could consider it cultured. Something I'm sure you'd know nothing about. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, really? Hit the attack button, what's wrong with you? Why? It's not like he goes higher when he does it. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I wonder why. Yeah, we're gonna stop you from getting any further. Don't slam attack us though, please. Oh. Just whatever you uh. do, don't use your slam attack. It'll hurt us. Like one point more damage than usual. They'll never use a slam attack. They're idiots. Yeah, I know they are. Sweet. Guess who's the smartest person in, in this part of the world? Me. No, me. I'm smarter than you. No, I'm smarter. I'm the smartest. You're not smart at all. Man, fuck you. No, fuck you, motherfucker. I'm gonna fucking cut you. I'll cut you. Let's fight the purple guy instead. Uh. Attack! We're gonna kill you, purple character. Air attack! I'll fuck you up. Uh oh. Fuck you up, punk. Francine Stroke. This power baby discipline their, disciplines their young by spanking them. This form of parenting can seem harsh and abusive, but who are you to judge? You don't even have a real job. Mm. Mm. How does he know? He just fucking knows. I can hear the guy crying again. Uh huh. Jesus Christ, this looks like it's gonna be tricky. Try not to get me killed. Oh, oh shit, that worked. Good, good, good job. He's back up here, he's just moved. Oh. Hey. Buddy, yeah, yeah. Oh, look who it is, Thelma and Louise. I hope you guys are happy. <clears throat> I just buried my pets that you murdered. You fucking monsters. I moved up here and created a new life for myself to get away from people like you. And here you are. I can't be safe anywhere. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> Not his manuscript. <laughs> I thought he was gonna give me a uh, upgrade. Man, if they made it any harder to find a green power baby, I tell you what, we wouldn't be out here getting them. 
New New. This power baby uses her fecal matter as a natural e as her aphrodisiac. Unfortunately for her, most power babies aren't into that. But I am. I'm really into it. <laughs> Hope you guys fucking die. <laughs> Two power babies remain, and we're very close to the house. Mm -hmm. Trover and the Cheorpion, you think you're going to be able to defeat Glorcon's minions and clones, but you will never defeat us, and we will stop you and murder you before you're able to even come close. To getting to Glorcon, because we are the most powerful clones. I'm gonna fucking fuck their face. <laughs> All right, everybody, attack! Fucking kill them! I'm the top one. Fucking kill them! Fucking kill them! Oh shit, you killed me! Oh, I was supposed to be the best. He told me I would be the one to stop you. Oh, fuck you! Shit. Hey, oh, that's not the attack button, that's why. Two hearts! Nice, nice. Got a heart. Four hearts. Fuck you up! Oh, they're in the air, so that doesn't work on them. Yeah, I guess. I think they're in the air. Let's try. Man, Glorcon's not fucking around sending all those clones after us like that. Alright, well, well, we're basically at Michael's house. Let's go. Power ba- Ah! Oh, nice one! <laughs> Good work finding that green power, baby! Melton Hickleberry. This thirsty little power baby can drink 200 liters of water in three minutes, making road trips unbearable. <laughs> Let me just see what... Oh, it really bothers me that my fingers don't appear in front of my face. Mm, yeah, it's weird, eh? I can't wait for that. There's an Oculus one, I think, coming. Or maybe it's Vive that lets you actually, like, see your fingers. It reads your hands. Right. That's gonna be cool. One, two, so 15, 16, 17, 18. The 19th one. Yeah, it doesn't look like it does them in that order on this walkthrough. It's too bad. That's a good way to do it. But I think we're we're okay. You think we saw them all? So the final one might be at his house. I think so. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see it. Oh yeah, there he is. I don't know if I can get over there right now. I guess hey, you gotta come do out this here. Knock, knock, hello. <sighs> what? What do you want, man? This is a private event. I don't give a shit. We're here to push your house over the cliff. Oh, oh, oh! You're pushing this house over. This one right here. Yeah. Give me one sec. The fuck are you doing? What is that? <sighs> is it? Is that shit? Oh, sorry about that. I guess I forgot what direction my toilet was in. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Get the hell off my property. This is a private event. Look, asshole, we need the Crystal of Ithacles. Mr. Pop-Up said... Mr. Pop-Up? Crystal of Ithacles? Shit, that guy's just pissed because I ate his family. Wait, seriously? That's right. Well, what Pop-Up needs to realize is that we're all just meat. Their energy is still around. I just ate their meat, okay? Energy never dies. <laughs> The flesh 
can be consumed, but there's spiritual energy still in the cosmos, you fucking asshole. <laughs> tell you what, I'll give you my crystal of the please right here. If you knock that boulder over the cliff on a Mr. Pop-Up's house and kill him. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go back inside where I have a, a whole mess of pregnant ladies strapped onto the floor where I'm using an intricate network of fluids to inject into their bodies and induce early birth so that I can consume the flesh of their fetuses, okay? <laughs> Is that okay? <laughs> oh my god! Jesus! Another one of these types! <laughs> these types! Charopian, <laughs> turn me facing you so we can talk for a second! Alright, listen, I wasn't even supposed to be here! What do you want to do? Do you want to kill Mr. Pop-Up? We, 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 we gotta kill somebody! We gotta pick one! Cause I want to get this stupid shard of Ithocles and get out of here! Okay, so what, do, what are you- what are you thinking? You- you want to kill Mr. Pop-Up? I gotta see both outcomes. I don't think oh, I can like shit. save and reload or anything. It doesn't look like it. Come on, partner, like we did with the old man. Yes or no? Like not. So you want to kill Michael then? Okay. Oh. Yeah. I mean, the guy, this guy, Michael is talking about injecting fluids into pregnant women and. <laughs> Inducing pregnancy and eating the, their babies. I mean, I, I see where you're coming from. Okay, so you want to kill Michael then? Yeah? Uh-oh, what you want to do? Yes or no? Like, not, not yes for yes and shake your head no for, for no. It's a tough decision. Hello, did you hear me, partner? It's a yes or no question. I'll kill this guy. <laughs> yeah, and plus, the fact that he reached into his ass and, and got a ball of shit and threw that. it in your face. He I did. mean, for God's sakes. Uh, final answer. We kill Michael? Yes or no? Okay, let's kill Michael then. Knocking a house filled with innocent pregnant women right off a cliff. Here we go. Here it goes. Dude, what the hell? Knock it off! Seriously, stop! You're fucking done, man. You're done. Fucking done! No, please! I'm begging you! We don't care! They're gonna kill a bunch of pregnant ladies and <laughs> ruin my dinner! <laughs> Alright! Hey, hey! Oh my god, you guys did it! You killed Michael! Oh my god! You guys actually did it! I thought you guys would have just picked one of those crystals up off the ground! It seemed like the most logical way to way to go about things! There's what are you talking about? You did it! I didn't know! I didn't think you had, had what it takes! I'm not gonna lie, I'm really sad that Michael's gone, but I've got bigger issues ahead of me. I need to find out where all my pregnant wives are. Here's your crystal of Ithocles, you dum-dum. These are all over the place. I pulled this one out of my ass. <laughs> my little schmubbler got all rosy. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, he had that crystal up his ass. <laughs> I don't want that in my, I don't want that in my telepod. All right, get the fuck out of here. Go to that special teleportation warp node. That'll warp you back to the telepod. You came in. Get the fuck out of my world, you limp leg, chair fucking, you stupid sucking head. I'm Mr. Pop Up and I'm gonna beat off Vicky. I'm Mr. Pop Up and I'm gonna beat off you. I'm Mr. Pop Up and I'm gonna beat off you. I'm Mr. Pop Up and I'm gonna beat off thinking about you guys. <laughs> Wait, I gotta come tell back. you, you know, you surprised me back there, Chair Orpian. I didn't think you had what it takes to kill somebody. You know, I thought you were just a baby that needed their hand held, you know? But I was wrong. You got some grit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do something real quick. Oh! Oh! Man, that's a big ass boulder. Oh, oh shit. That's too bad. I wish you could do both. Yeah. Hmm? So this this genre needs a name. Because we've seen a few trailers for things like this, where you're a third person who's guiding a, a guy along. You're kind of there too, but you're right. like 
I think that one with the mouse, you're kind of like a normal sized human and you're helping the mouse along. Moss? Moss, yeah, I think that is the same type. Mm. And it seems to be a theme for VR games as being this third. Astrobot has the same kind of controls yeah. as well. It needs a, a title for its, its genre. VR platformer? Well, no, because a VR platformer could be you being the platforming guy. It could mm. also be just, you know, the same typical. Second person? It's All like, right, let's move. Anyways. Where you're an element in the story where the, the right. third person is actually can like change their view and like be a part of the story, but they're not the one doing the platforming. You're all like, let me be a part of the narrative. Kinda. Yeah. Damn, you found a great goddamn power, baby. Good job. The last one. <gasps> Thank you for your help, Biggie. Hi. Sharing Shrinkle, this power baby will make you make great sacrifices for its young, like having no life of its own. Get a job, loser. <laughs> Alright, we get to get out of here now. Oops. Doink. Well, wow, we teleported, we're here. Holy shit, what, th there's crystals everywhere. <laughs> How do we miss all these? But did we not notice these before? They're all oh over my the place. God. And there's a crystal. Look, there's, uh, there's crystals there. <laughs> all right, I'm plugging the crystal of Ithacles into the telepod. All right, listen, we're back in the telepod, and the first order of business is let's store some of those green power babies. All right, so just rotate around until you see the, the, the big red button. That's the power baby suction button. Just ro You'll find it. Just rotate around until you see the big red button. You're going to be doing this all the time, so you better just <coughs> get used to it. That's the first burp. Yeah, right? <laughs> Oh. oh my god! Ooh, nice! Now I can take more damage! Oh, see, that's what happens when you collect these green power babies! Alright, okay, we're, we're really rocking and rolling! Oh, you did it! I got another hit point! I can take one more hit of damage! All thanks to your green power baby hunting! Yeah, man. You just wait. Talking about all the power babies from the whole level. You did it. You made me happy. You are a cool person. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh shit, you better answer that, partner. That's probably the boss. Man, I got that really quickly before. Yeah, you did. I love that it has a counter. Uh-huh. Nice. Yeah, like, how are we to know when he's gonna keep saying things? Oh my god, look at the uh -huh. calendar. <laughs> Trover, chair person, good work. You got the crystal, and it looks like Trover's already installed it and upgraded the telepod. Now you just have to teleport to the Abstainer's home world, Inner Sanctum. Very rare opportunity for anyone. Good work, guys. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Jeez, Chair Orpian, I gotta admit, I never saw you, I never thought you had it in you. To cold-bloodedly murder somebody like that. Whew, glad I'm not on your bad side. You know, you're gonna do pretty good out here in this cosmos, you know? You're gonna do pretty good when we part ways right after this next part of the game. When we split up. Because I'm going my way and you're going your way. And they're not intertangled at all. And that's all I gotta say about that. <laughs> Alright. Uh, should we do that before we end the show? Sure. Oh my god, look at the tank full of power beams. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh.
Is this set in the Rick and Morty universe? Uh, I, don't, I don't think so. No, I don't think so either. I mean, it could easily be if it wanted to be, but no, I don't think Jeez, it is. this is where the abstainers live? In a giant foggy void? Must be nice. What are you doing? Come see, talk to us. We are the abstainers. We request your presence. We must talk to you in person. We're very interesting to look at. You'll <laughs> want to see us. Trust me, you'll want, to, you'll want to come and be in our presence. It's cool. It looks cool, especially in virtual reality. Because <laughs> you'll, you'll be able to look around and feel a, a strong sense of presence, like you're actually here. So come to our inner sanctum and talk to us, please. We have things to speak with you about. We are the abstainers. We can talk more about a bunch of inside shit, but, you know, whatever. We're the abstainers. Just come to hang out. Come and okay. hang out with us. Let's just chill out. What are you doing? You're just fucking around. <laughs> Come chill with us. Come on, let's chill. Our walkway is not that long. <laughs> we could have been here now three times over. The walkway is not that long. I, I believe me, I know, I installed it myself. I, I, I believe I installed it. No, I did, you fucking bitch. Uh, all right, well, hurry up. We'll see you in a second. I guess you're... Just fucking about, smelling the roses and whatnot. Not like there's a whole bunch of shit to worry about. The Florcon out there causing a ruckus. Not like we have stakes or any problems to deal with. You know, whatever. Hey, listen, I know these guys kind of seem intimidating, but we really need to talk to them if we're going to save your dogs. Yeah, Lama was saying that at the beginning. Like, it's perfect for Royland because he can just talk forever and use, like, all of it. Ah, uh, they have arrived. Welcome, Trover. Yeah, uh, yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes, welcome. It's true. Mm -hmm. The dogs were yours. The bond you have is strong. You are the chairbound one. He who is dis destined to defeat Glorkon. We, we are the Abstainers. We see all, we know all, but we can no longer be sure of the future. Slow talker. Now that Glorkon has broke free, he was one of us. We were four in total. Now we're just three. I mean, it's a bunch of bullshit, really, if you think about it. He fucked so weird. us. Now we're three. We abstain from interfering with anything, because we don't fuck with shit. And we're the abstainers, and we abstain from stuff. Um, listen, so the clones, we, we've been running into Glorcon clones. They said a bunch of bad stuff is coming. Oh, oh, jeez, oh my god. Oh, dub, 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 oh, dub, dub. <laughs> this is bad stuff. This is a bad sign. Uh, this means Glorcon is proceeding with his plan to destroy the universe, the cosmos, everything. Wait, what? What? Destroy the whole cosmos? That's right, you little purple hunk. And you two <laughs> together are our, our only hope. Uh, you must collect Glorcon, the clones. You must collect their guts. We will be able to use that to peer into Glorcon's mind so we're able to see what his next moves are. It's the only way we can stop the horrible things from happening. What are you talking about, us? I, I, I don't want I, I to deal with this. Get the fuck out of here. Hurry. Get the fuck out of here. Just to reiterate, we are the abstainers. We used to be able to see all timelines. Every version of reality we could peer into. We abstain from interfering with everything. Now that Glorcon left, we're broken down. We can't see anything. We don't know what the fuck is going on. We need to peer into Glorcon's mind so we know what his plans are, so that we can stop it's him. It's a bunch of bullshit. This whole thing is bullshit. We weren't expecting it. We weren't planning for it. It's fucking fucked up. It's like if you if your car broke down on the freeway and you're like, fuck, I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't <laughs> planning for this today. I, I, I had a whole bunch of shit to do. That's the experience we're living in right now. This What's is going on out there. We are here. abstainers. We abstain from things. We are very zen. We are zen creatures. We are large. 
We're weird. We're sci-fi. <laughs> I mean, what do you want more? Do you want from us? Go hurry. Go collect Glorcon's clones. He's still smiling. DNA. Get the Glorcon DNA. Take it to Voodoo Person. Voodoo Person will chime it with delicious voodoo science, so that it's all prepped and ready for us, so we can use it to connect to Glorcon's mind. And if we can connect to Glorcon's mind, we can see what he's doing, and so on and so forth. You get the idea. Get the fuck out of here. We already said this. <laughs> go out of here and go to the place that you need to go. You stupid piece of shit. <laughs> All right, en enough of this. Let's let's get the show on the road. Come on. All right, that's it. Enough talking. We must meditate. Are you ready to meditate, my fellow abstainers? Yes, yes let, let us meditate. meditate. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> let's leave him to it. <laughs> wow, this is annoying. <laughs> <laughs> He likes it. He's tolerating it. Yeah, that's one way to make you leave an area. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's get out of here. All right, that's probably the boss calling you. You should answer the phone. Hello? Hello? What's going on? Boss, we're in some deep stuff over here. The stakes have been raised. Glorcon's trying to destroy the whole universe, and the abstainers want us to stop him. Uh, hold on, Chover. Shut the fuck up. Let me talk to the Chair Orpian here. Chair Orpian, is it true? Have the stakes been raised? <laughs> well, according to the Chair Orpians, the stakes have not been raised. Huh? What? <laughs> There's a special place in hell for people like you, Trover. If I were married, I would kill your wife. Huh? No, uh, they, <laughs> the stakes have definitely been raised. Well, Trover, that makes 50% of the two of you that believes that. As for the other 50%, they believe the stakes have not been raised. And that's... Uh, so I'm just gonna have to sit here on the sidelines and not be too worried about any of this. Why would you... Why? Why? Trover, shut your stupid little mouth. We don't have time for this. Trover, what are you gonna do? You're gonna fucking sit on your little... Pansy ass while the whole cosmos gets blown up and destroyed? Or are you gonna fucking pony up? You and the Chair Warpian are the only hope. The abstainer said it to me earlier. I didn't want to tell you about it. You're bitching and moaning. You're gonna to go to Shroomia and you're gonna find <laughs> Doopy Duper. He has a cauldron, a vessel, a little receptacle, whatever. I need you to fill up the Glorcon clone guts into the cauldron and, and come back to the telepod, all right? Now get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna go shoot some hoops. You know the stakes have been raised? Shit's been all crazy now with the stakes that are they're raised. Their stakes are raised really high. Man, I thought we would be wrapping it up back there. You know, this is turning out to be a way bigger deal than I thought it would be. You know, listen, I'm a whole monster. You're a chair orpian. We're not meant to be a team, but we're partners now. You hear that? I acquiesce. We're partners. I don't want to be together with you, but we are. And we're in way over our heads, so you know, just... Don't screw anything up. Let's just do what we came to do, all right? Hit the button so we can get out of here. All right, I think that's where we go today. Hit the button, please. Oh, uh, Hit the button so we can get get a move on. I, I we gotta go deal with some stuff. Yeah, no, this is where we end. <laughs> Come on, we, we gotta do this. Come on. So what's the journal say? Okay, and let's just... So we have many more babies to collect. Mmm, we did great with the the green babies on that last one. Wow. How long did we stream? Two uh, hours in there feels like four. Even hours. though it's a game that's fucking incredible. Yeah. Oh, VR, man. Exhausting. There's so many really cool experiences and it's such an interesting technology, but holy fuck. Yeah. It is work. Aww. I wonder if there's a headset out there that's comfortable. Because I used to think this was the most comfortable. I thought you thought... Um, they all strain the back of your neck. 
No, no, no. The, we had a Vive and... Oh, Vive. Well, we did have an Oculus, but that was the dev kit, too. Mm. I love the sun. Yeah, me too. We're definitely going to try out Beat Saber. The thing is, Beat Saber also can, I think, be not in VR. Right, I think you're... you are right. I think? You still have to c control... You still have to have motion controllers for your hand, because that's the whole point. But I think that it's pure VR? Oh, really? But it's also playable without gear, so... <laughs> Unless you're talking about this game. You have to move out of the way of stuff. Oh. Yeah, I think that could be done without VR if, you, if they wanted to program that in. But maybe they don't. But anyways, whatever. Anyways, uh, headsets are not comfortable. That's one of the biggest things. The, re the resolution you get used to, and when you play stylized games like this, the resolution doesn't matter mm -hmm. nearly as much. It's definitely like not clear. And you, when you see graphics, when you leave the headset, you revel in them, how really? crisp they are. You have like little lines underneath your eye up here, back here, and your one eye is bloodshot. <laughs> have a bloodshot eye? Yeah, look at me. Yeah, it's like, kind of like pink. It looks like it's been a little bit strained. I would probably want to keep a play session to an hour. Yeah. And between the two of us, maybe we could do two hour shows if we did something like Beat Saber or something. I thought this was pretty long for you, actually. It was. Did it feel like a little bit, yeah. a little... A little bit long, <laughs> but we took a lot of time, right? Uh, yeah. It's possible we would be able to keep this down. I could see tagging on a VR section on the end of shows so that mm. we can have a quick, short VR segment and then move on to different games. Yeah, yeah. But, whoa. Yeah. It takes a while to, like, recalibrate when you come out. Yeah, I don't like that feeling. But this is the big challenge the VR has. It's like, it's got to get comfy. Mm. The weight, the resolution, the strain. Yeah. It's a novelty right now, but it really, I still believe it's the future, and it adds to games, it really does. It's not just a gimmick, it's something that actually can make an experience. Yeah. Completely different. Uh, so it's worth, it's worth suffering for sometimes. It but. is really cool that you can be in there playing it and I'm out here watching the same thing. Mm-hmm. That's pretty fun. This guy's here. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We will be returning to this game, so I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you guys next time on Video Games Awesome Live.